when you have a game like Joe Burrow did, and you're trying to dig yourself back into the season, and you lose a close OT game like that on a bad handle, snap. It wasn't really a bad snap. It bad was just, hand. Oh, it's just it's you know frustrating for them. Yeah. Oh, that was horrible. For five him. You touchdowns. You saw it on his face too. He's just like Psh. five touchdowns, almost 400 yards. What more could Joe Burrow have done? And to me, I, I get it. It's still early, but one and four means a three game winning streak just brings you back to five hundred. Like you now you're digging. Now you're yeah. Now you just you're but almost even he didn't... said it. Did you see how honest he was after the game talking about how this team is just not ready? They're not ready. Hmm. He said they're not a Super Bowl caliber team. Very honest about it. He looked frustrated. He did everything like you said he could. And they should have had that game, but the Ravens pulled it out. I mean, they played big, too. Henry's run at the end, put him in position. When Jamar Chase awesome. has big plays like that and Joe Burrow's looking that way, you, you can't give up a 40-plus spot and lose. I was just going to bring up about Jamar Chase, his 10th uh, reception touchdown. For, what was it, 60 yards oh. or more? He beat Odell Beckham Jr.'s record before the or at the age of 25 or under. Um, and I was like, man, they, they should have paid him while they could have. I mean, they're still going to pay him. Yeah. But, I mean, but, you know, it's just uh, that was one of my observations that I felt for Joe Burrow. Like, I, I mean, listen, the guy's making a ton of money. He's a young, successful guy. But you got to feel for him because he laid it all out there. I know some people are like, overrated. I like Joe Burrow. And I thought, you know, it's nice when there's more competition at the division. I feel like now we're we're seeing we're seeing the Bengals fall, you know. What are your thoughts on passion levels versus showing up your team in some ways? I don't think that was Joe Burrow's intent, but you did noticeably see that he was frustrated with how it panned out. You, you saw his body language. You saw his reaction. You saw his expression toward the field goal mishap. I don't know. I mean, and then you see Aaron Rodgers Aaron and his Rogers, body language. You I know was, what I mean? Like you, 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 you understand it, but but do you? Do you not want to show up your team in that way? You took the words out of my mouth. Aaron Rodgers was the first person to come to mind where, even back to his Green Bay days, he's, you know what they always say in baseball, you never want to see the pitcher like throw his hands up or get all animated. Like you're showing was, up your... I was just going to say that. Is it sport for sport? Is it different for I, baseball and football? Aaron Rodgers is the league leader in, in eye rolls. In eye rolls and, and, yeah, looking frustrated, especially this season. You saw that a little bit, understandably. So not criticism, just observation made me go, hmm, with Joe Burrow and the Bengals and his honesty at the end of the game, which is, again, refreshing at the same time. I hate all the BS at a post-game conference, but he straight up said this team is not ready. You know, Danny, let me ask you, as we get we got some Burrow sound we're going to play in a second. If, if you're Aaron Rodgers, is that – Emotion, or is that showing up your team? Because I said he is the league leader of eye rolling. Like he's not flailing his arms, he's not visual, but that like closing your eyes. You know when you're frustrated with your look. kids. You know when you're frustrated with your wife or kids, and you do. Can I tell you why? <sighs> you uh, just like close your eyes. I know you asked Danny, <laughs> but before I got a pea brain right now. So before I forget, I just think as the leader, we're talking about leaders of the team. Like you want to look to those guys as. The guys who are cool under pressure, who don't waver, unflappable. Even when times are tough, they're going to lead you out of that hole. And when you see they're frustrated and you see their body language and their expressions and it's not positive, that yeah. doesn't do anything for the team to rally behind. This was exactly our conversation about Devontae Adams at the start of last week, remember? Yeah, especially with leaders like that. Yeah, you want to be unflappable as, as much as possible. I know... A lot of guys are gladiators and warriors, and some of some of the times you can't help the way a camera might catch you look. But For sure. when it's constant and that just seems to be your personality, yeah, this it's man, it's starting to get old. And think about it, Rich. You took the words right out of my mouth. I was thinking about it. There's like an unwritten rule. If someone's pitching in baseball and someone makes an error behind them, you never see the pitcher, or when you do, it's a big deal because you're showing up your team. If you look frustrated they didn't play behind you, you're showing up your team. But it seems like in football, I'm seeing a, a bit of a different reaction in the past few weeks. A couple months ago, the Mets were playing the A's. And I specifically remember Ron Darling talked about this because he played for both teams. He was calling the pitcher on the A's, Bush League, because 
he was showing emotion on an error, and Ron's like, you, can't you don't do, do that. that. You don't You do not do that. But you see that with Roger. You saw that with Burrow. You see that in other situations. I'm just using them as examples. Um, I don't think it's a good look, maybe because I'm a baseball fan, and that's my thinking. It's bleeding over. Um, and that's bleeding over into football. But I also think these are the guys leading their offense, leading the team. And I'll give you a, it's a it's a real life example, Rich. When I was a kid, you know, I look up to my let's say my mom. If I was in a situation, and I saw mom look scared. Guess what? I was scared. But if I saw that mom was cool, because dad was out at work. But if mom was cool, then I had nothing to worry about. These guys look up to, especially in Aaron Rodgers, and he's acting like that. How do you feel confident about winning? Yeah. You know, yeah. that's why I think it matters. Are they human? Am I mad at them? No. But I think they should be better than that. I saw a headline that said Aaron Rodgers and the Jets need Devontae Adams immediately. Would that calm both or either of them down, or would that be I, I think a it really would, bad mixture if the Jets still continue to lose? It would give the Jets like a momentary glimmer of like, we're gonna turn it around and then yeah. then we'll see. Speaking of Devontae Adams, things that made you go, hmm. I, I kept checking on my phone, Danny. I got to be honest. I I didn't have my closest eye on some of the late games because I was watching baseball and football. Yeah, it was tough. When the Raiders and Broncos were ten ten, I was like, "Oh, this could be a battle." What happened from that point Minshew on? Minshew threw a pick. He got was, I was just gonna say, oh, man, he got straight. level too, man. Yeah, I at first they threw a flag on it yeah. because he got grabbed and thrown down, and you could have called it holding. They they decided to pick the flag up. Um, it was a 100-yard interception pick six. It was a 100-yard pick six, Rich, Pat uh, Sertain, for yeah. Sertain. Yeah. And it was such a bad overthrow <laughs> by Minshew. And up until that point, Minshew had played a great game early, early on. Uh, Raiders came out first couple of series. They looked great. Their defense looked great. And then it all fell apart after that 100-yard pick six. Yeah, those are growing pains, though. You know, yeah, It should have been 17-3 to instead, 10-10. And then it was like yeah. the Broncos' defense settled in. You saw Jordan Love do the same thing. Like, oh, why did he throw that? That's sort of what Minshew did in that moment. Um, things that made you go home could be in baseball, could be in football, could be in anything you observed over the weekend, could be in life. Oh, yeah, I, the supermarket. I, I, I thought... Up until that point, the highlights I had seen, Danny, the Raiders look composed. In fact, Max Crosby was jokingly barking at yeah. Bo Nix, being like, yo, Bo, they can't hear you. Yeah, he, he was, was having a game. He yeah. was having a game, having some fun, and then... He was, and Bowers had his first touchdown. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It uh, At the start of the game, I was like, what a weekend. Otani yesterday, Bowers today, and then sports is crazy. Like, that, it can just it could just turn on a dime. Mm. Like I said, I was at the two TVs. The 49ers and Mets were winning. Snap my fingers, they both lost. Hey, before we uh, get too far off of Burrow and Rodgers, yeah. something else I observed about Aaron Rodgers. Again, you appreciate his honesty, but at the same time, you're like, man, I don't know if I want to hear that. At the post game, they asked him about some of the hits he took because you saw he looked like he was in pain a few times, yeah. right? And mm -hmm. anything Aaron Rodgers related, you're, you're concerned. I, I mean, I can't be the only one that saw that one hit. And oh, they yeah, were like, no, everybody oh, Aaron, saw it. Aaron Rodgers is done, yeah. career like, over. Oh, no, he died. What happened? And, and then, he was like, ah. Oh. But they asked him about, hey, did you hear any noise? He goes, I heard lots of, something along the lines of he heard lots of noises as he went down. It's like, <laughs> did he rip ass? Ah. Uh, did other bones <laughs> break? Like, what was, did he hear something crack? What did he hear? But what I think is, he, yeah, either he uh, had an accident in his pants or, like, man, it's just advertising that he's too old for this. And I don't think you want to hear that from your starting quarterback. Mm -hmm. I just don't. Yeah, but it's no no uh, shock that he's getting older now. I mean, it's no shock, but, man, you, you waited another year for that? 